My business is called Passion Profit. We're a business development support service organization. What that means, sometimes somebody knows what they need to do. They have this passion. But what are the different processes you need to put around it so that you can actually run a business? How can you be tax compliant so that our economy can grow? So that's where Passion Profit comes in. My name is Kezi Mukiri. Um, I'm a woman entrepreneur. I'm passionate about women in business. I run a company called Zuri Ignite. I uh, specialize in brand management for corporate organizations. We support uh, corporate organizations in expressing their brand objectives in the arena of events. Every event that is conceivable for corporate organizations, we will be in that space. So we put together conferences, exhibitions, um, corporate launches, we do product launches, we do trade shows, we do road shows, um, AGM. My name is Jennifer Muli. I'm the managing director for Kachi Collections. Uh, Kachi Collections is an innovative social enterprise that works with women to create employment as well as produce uh, fashion accessories. My name is Maureen Morunga and I am the founder and CEO of uh, Amadiva Beauty. Amadiva means transformation in Luya. I've been running this business since 2010. It took me about two years of trying to figure out how the business should look like. I was uh, figuring out how our standards, what we will stand for. Um, I was figuring out how the interior should look like. I was figuring out this business. My name is Grace Wahome. I started uh, Skaga Kennels back in the year 2000 and Saga Kennel started as a dog breeding company. As dog breeders we realized that there is a niche or there is a need for dogs to be receptive to their work. With the rise of insecurity also it was a need, there was a need to, to have something that would protect people and also become a family, a family dog. I'm Benedicta Dukamotiri. I do poultry farming as well as Meron. I'm happy with what I do. I love it because so far, so good. And determined to go far. The specific challenges I face because I'm a woman, I'm a widow. I don't have any inheritance. They always want to have collateral or one thing or the other. So that makes life uh, a little difficult. But we work with what we have. I stepped out as a young woman newly married, didn't have children back then, and the children came along the way. So of course there were seasons of pregnancy in the course of the business. And that was a unique challenge because I didn't think that it was going to be a problem walking into a boardroom, doing a proposal, making a presentation, and everybody looking at my bum and wondering how you're going to be able to do this. Our biggest challenges were finding these girls in the slums is not the easiest thing because you don't know where you where to start. So the beauty is that we had a contact with one of the girls who had to go and look for her friends, who she felt had the need to build themselves and they were willing to come and work and train them. The second challenge was training the skills. I mean, we're training a skill that is non-existent in the city first and foremost because it's, it's associated with tribes from the, from the Rift Valley, Maasai. I actually realized that my biggest challenge is actually access to knowledge. When you have knowledge, when you know better, you do better. So my biggest challenge back then, um, you know, you, I'm so caught up in the business, I wasn't taking enough time to research. I, I, as a founder and as a visionary, it's your job and responsibility to actually be looking for that information that will help your business. I remember there's a time that there's an issue at the assignment, and so I come, I said, I am representing Securex, and there's a problem. What's the problem? And she said, you. I said, they are me. And they said, okay. We have this issue, this, 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 and I could see that they don't trust me. I did a demo for them. From that time, she used to call me, what do you think we should do? When you go out to the market, sometimes some men can 
bring you down. They want to take advantage of you. They feel as if you are turning to them. You have no option. They want to just stress you up because you are a woman. When I heard about she treats, I was ecstatic. It was like an answer from above. I think it's exactly the sort of platform women need to next level our business. I think she trades is going to change the landscape, especially by helping us go beyond the border. It's going to open up global markets for women, gives them even exposure to what is happening um, on the global stage. And so that even though we are running local enterprises, we ought not to have a local mindset. I believe this is a good opportunity for me as a young woman who is ready prepared to export my thing out there. It's going to open up um, recognition on women and their achievements. Now there's an opportunity for me to plug into something that will allow me not only to do business internationally, but also to access information from other women internationally. And I think that's just amazing. There is that modern technology on poultry farming, whereby you build the modern structures, maintain that modern quality, professionalism in it. I'm planning to do that, and it's only through maybe sea trade. I'll get a chance to have the same. Do I think this is the right time? Absolutely. It's a time for women. It's a time for us to be doing sheet trades. I support the sheet trades initiative. I support the sheet trade initiative. <laughs> I support the sheet trades initiative. I support the sheet trades initiative. I support the sheet trade initiative. I support the sheet trades initiative. The boundaries have been opened.